let's kickstart this project with some caffeine and some cardboard. Some guys like to build the electrics tray and then fully weld it to the frame, which I'm not a huge fan of. It does look pretty cool, but if you want to change anything like your electrical components or you want to make it a little bit deeper, you're stuck. And especially after you've powder coated or painted the frame, then you're in a world of hurt because you've got to pull the whole thing apart and get it all painted and powder coated again. So I like to bolt them in. So this one, just like a lot of the other ones I've built, is going to be bolted in. Every time I build something like this, I try and keep my tolerances nice and tight, meaning there's not much of a gap. But you just have to remember that you've got paint and powder coat, whichever you choose to use, on both of these things. So the frame as well as the electric tray. So you've got to allow a little bit extra room so that you can fit everything in. So you don't want to have to shave that off once you've powder coated or painted, because that would be a pain in the butt. For anyone who doesn't know, this CB400 actually belongs to my friend Crystal and we have found a leak in the engine, so the engine needs to come apart and we've ordered some parts from CMS to do this. So they should arrive fairly quick and we'll be able to break this engine apart. If you don't own a sheet metal bender, the easiest way to do this at home is with a 1mm disc on your grinder. Just score the sheet metal just enough so that it'll bend a nice crisp line and then you can fully weld that out later. So the beauty about steel is you can add and subtract whatever you want and all you really need is a grinder and a welder to get started. Just don't fully weld everything out until you are 100% happy. You don't need to make any more changes. And now I'm just grinding off and cleaning up all of the welds on the belt grinder. I've recently received a new mag case from Quadlock and these things are amazing, but what I didn't realize was the ring in the back is actually the magnet, which is kind of really handy, especially when you're working in the garage. So Crystal has a set of brand new YSS shocks going on this bike as well. We haven't put them on the bike just yet because of all the fabrication we're doing. If you're thinking about getting shocks for your bike, I highly recommend YSS. They are state-of-the-art technology, unlike some of the other brands, which are like 30 year old. I would highly recommend not getting the Chinese crap. There's a few different series depending on the budget and application you're putting them on. So as always, I'm trying to save you as much money as possible. So to get a 10% discount on all of their range, use CRGYSS code at checkout. If you enjoyed this video, definitely go and check out this playlist. You're gonna love it.